How you doing? Thanks for clicking on to the UK Your Video Blog for today on what is a very, very wet, uh, windy, cool feeling day across the UK, and we've seen a pretty uh, substantial band of uh, of very, very heavy rain. In fact, some of the colours that you're seeing on some of the forecast uh, maps today, it's quite unusual actually to see there was a kind of brighter, uh, luminous yellows and uh, indicating the very, very heavy rain that we're seeing basically along a, a frontal boundary which separates a uh, kind of coolisher with actually quite colder and what we're seeing is we're actually seeing a, a flow uh, out of the southwest is pulling in uh, uh, moisture in off the Atlantic and the contrast between the colder to the north of the front and the milder to the south of the front is energizing activating this front uh, embedded within the front we're seeing tremendous sails of rain moving in. It's basically moving west east along the front and it's pulling in very, very large amounts of moisture in off the Atlantic across uh, the Republic of Ireland, Ar Northern Ireland, and through central and southern Scotland. That front is going to continue to move southwards over the course of this afternoon and evening. And uh, the, the front is actually. Although we're going to be seeing the band of rain starting to narrow down, shorten, um, we are going to see intense rainfall, uh, some very, very gusty winds along that frontal boundary as it sweeps south through the Midlands this evening and in through Greater London southwards overnight tonight. So if you live in places like London, uh, don't be surprised if you hear the wind roar, the rain battering off your window during the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, sky should be pretty uh, clear across London through the Midlands. And as you head farther north, up through Cumbria and the southern and central Scotland, you'll see more in the way of, uh, of heavy, intense showers rattling through on a pretty stiff northwest wind. Over the course of the next 24 hours, what we're seeing is, is the front sweep south, the arrival of a cooler, a much cooler air mass is a sub polar air mass, although it's not uh, like br brutally cold or anything, you're going to see that difference and the actual wind itself tomorrow is going to feel a lot colder because of the, the orientation out of the northwest pulling in colder air. Over the next, uh, through tomorrow and in the Wednesday, what we're going to see is the actual um, uh, of transport of colder air from over south, uh, southeast Greenland and over Iceland, where temperatures are struggling to hit uh, around 2 or 3 degrees in the next couple of days, that air is then going to get transported down south across Scotland and the rest of the UK by Wednesday. And then by Wednesday, we we'll see a uh, more uh, high pressure moving in. So what we'll see is clear skies, the winds will uh, be markedly lighter, and with the colder in place, we'll see the first widespread frost of the season so far. So it's a very, very messy pattern, very active pattern, very interesting pattern if you're interested in weather. But uh, we could be seeing one to three inches of rain quite easily today across central Scotland, particularly so across uh, the, the Galloway Hills, Dumfries and Galloway, and upslope areas of Cumbria through North Wales, uh, where the air is flowing up those hills, we're going to be seeing more and more heavier rain as opposed to the, the areas, say, for example, the Midlands today. So very, very wet night. Uh, the, the rain will ease across central Scotland, becoming more showery in nature. We might see some breaks in the clouds as well. So clear skies, but because of the, the wind being uh, fairly gusty in, uh, in many parts, we're going to be seeing uh, that mixing of the air, so we're not going to be seeing temperatures drop just too close to freezing tonight. It will be uh, tomorrow night, and particularly so on Wednesday, where we see the, the greater chance of, uh, of frost temperatures down around zero Celsius in many towns and cities across the UK. And in outlying areas, folks, I, could be, I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen widespread minus twos, minus threes. And in the coldest places, perhaps minus six, minus seven isn't out with the realms of possibility. But uh, the cooler air is now over Scotland. We'll be seeing temperatures... A drop from 11 Celsius early this morning at my house is now down to 6 Celsius. It's been dropping as the days went on. That front, although we're still seeing the rain, uh, the heavy rain this afternoon, that front is now starting to sweep southwards. We're into the cooler air. 
But over the next 24 hours, it will be seeing the, the wind blowing from the northwest, and when that will be key to transporting that colder air over Iceland, southwards across Scotland and the rest of the UK between late Tuesday and Wednesday. So a very, very wet, very windy night for many areas across the Midlands and south of England. The rain should be easing across Scotland. But certainly wrap up warm folks. Highs tomorrow, 8 or 9 Celsius widely across Scotland and even down into the north of England. Probably around 10 Celsius for Manchester and the Birmingham, 12 to 14 Celsius for London. Much colder feeling, of course, with the wind. So thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're staying dry. And uh, stay safe out there, folks. Bye for now.